Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. Now in today's video I am going to be doing something extremely exciting because this is the very first time that I'm not going to be reviewing any makeup. I am actually going to be reviewing a Korean skincare brand namely Beauty of Chosen. Now don't you worry the makeup won't be going anywhere but I always wanted to introduce skincare to my channel. I really wanted to pick a brand that I'm extremely familiar with that I know you might be benefiting from as well and the brand that I'm actually going to be focusing on in today's video Beauty of Chosen has extremely contributed to the success of my skin because my skin was just in a rough rough state a couple of years ago like I mean two years ago it was just a disaster so I really went on a mission to save my skin and I've got to say I am so blessed and happy that I came across Korean skincare I really feel like Korean skincare is formulated in a very different way than western skincare I feel like the formulas of these skincare products have amazing base ingredients and these ingredients have really really healed my skin you know they really have improved my skin health and the overall look of my skin so I really have started my k-beauty journey about a year and a half ago and ever since I've been hooked on Korean skincare I mean I'm gonna be trying to really deliver more videos to you guys with a lot more brands that I've been loving. So I know that everyone's skin is very different, everyone has their individual preferences. Now just know I have very sensitive skin, I also have more combo acne prone skin in general and I'm always looking for products that can really heal the inflammation in my skin. I also like products that are cruelty free, that are essential oil free, that are fragrance free and alcohol free. So Beauty of Chosen has really hit those marks and I feel like this is an amazing K-beauty brand in case you've never tried K-beauty or you don't have a skincare routine and you are just overwhelmed with all of these products and you don't know where to start. I feel like this brand is really good for beginners but really everyone can try this brand and it's also really affordable and that's a big big difference comparing Korean skincare to the more western skincare. I feel like K-beauty really does deliver on the quality, on the performance but also on the price point. I mean the price the prices of these products are just astonishing. I mean there are a couple of western brands that I like too but I just feel like the Koreans are light years ahead with their formulas, with the quality and with the performance and especially the price point. So I also do want to mention that this review is not sponsored. However I did get a collaboration with Stylvana which is really really exciting for me because honestly all of my Korean beauty products I'm always purchasing through Stylvana. So I always find the price tag on the K-beauty products to be the best at Stylvana and Stylvana also has amazing shipping. You're not going to sit around waiting and waiting for a product to arrive but the shipping on Stylvana is quite phenomenal. So I was really pleased when they asked me to actually collaborate with them. So they would send me a couple of products to actually include into my already existing K-Beauty collection. And I was also really thrilled when they actually wanted to send me a couple of Beauty of Chosen products. Now just remember, I had Beauty of Chosen a long time before they actually asked me to collaborate with them. So I actually suggested to them, why not make a video on Beauty of Chosen because I am quite familiar with the brand and they actually have sent me only two products out of this entire review. Everything else I've purchased with my own money. I purchased it on Stylvana because I just love that K-Beauty retailer. So if you continuously order from them I would definitely suggest to also create an account because you are just gonna get so many benefits. They have an amazing sort of member program that if you hit VIP member you are just gonna get an immediate reduction from all of these products and they already have a quite a low price tag so it is really worth it. I just go through skincare so 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 much like really like skincare is just something that I use even more than makeup. Although I have a makeup channel I am just such a skincare junkie you guys. In case you do want to shop with Stylvana and you want to try out some of these amazing K-beauty brands including Beauty of Chosen. I do actually have an affiliate code now with them since they asked me to collaborate with them so I'm going to put that affiliate code up here you're going to get 10 to 15 percent of your order now you're going to get I think 10 percent if your order is below 59 dollars and if it exceeds 59 dollars you're actually going to get 15 percent off which is a really great deal so if you're on savannah.com and you don't live in the U.S. just make sure to actually click on the right 
country. And then once you have filled up your shopping cart, just click on your cart and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then there is this little box where you can type in my discount code and it should show up on your total and you can save some coins. So I'm also going to be putting my discount code and the links to these products in that description box. So don't forget to check that one out. Now I would be really, really happy if you could use this code, but no pressure, you know, just in case you are already familiar with Stalvana or if you want to support the channel or in case, you know, you just want to try out some skincare products that are actually worth it. Also, if this is your first time on my channel and if you love skincare and makeup as much as I do and you just want to stay on here with me a little bit longer, why not hit that subscribe button? You can also ring the bell in order to stay notified about my upcoming videos and if you do enjoy this video at any point, why not give it a big thumbs up? That would be extremely appreciated. So the reason why I love Beauty of Chosen is first off, the quality. They have amazing formulations and second of all, they are actually really focused on healing your skin. I also feel like Beauty of Chosen focuses a lot of the times on some very traditional Korean beauty ingredients. I feel like two of their top ingredients and both of these ingredients are kind of reoccurring throughout their entire line is definitely ginseng and rice. So I'm really excited to be reviewing this entire collection by Beauty of Chosen because I've almost tried everything by this brand. There are only two products that I have not in my collection and that's for a good reason because I'm not really interested in them but everything else I've tried and I really wanted to share my opinion on these products with you guys. So I'm going to be doing this review in the steps that I would usually do in my skincare routine. So we're going to be starting off with the cleanser, move on to the toner and so forth. And we're just going to end up with the mask. So without no further ado, I would say let's just jump right in and let's review the very first product by Beauty of Chosen. So let's start off with the cleansers. Now Beauty of Chosen actually has three different cleansers. Now I have two out of the three. Now the one that I don't have is their ginseng cleansing oil. Now personally I don't really like cleansing oils. So I much rather have a milk cleanser or a cleansing balm for the very first step of my double cleansing routine and then I'm going to go in with a gel cleanser. So I picked up the balm and the gel cleanser. But yeah let's actually start off with the cleansing balm. So this is the Radiance Cleansing Balm and this retails for $19. Now I actually do have a video in the making about a lot of these cleansers because I feel like me wearing so much makeup it is so 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 crucial to actually remove your makeup. I mean I would never go to bed without having my face just squeaky clean and just really taking care of getting rid of all of the residue, all of the makeup, all of the SPF, all of the products that I'm putting on my skin over the day. So I feel like a cleansing balm really does come handy if you like a double cleansing routine or in case you're not wearing any makeup at all, a cleansing balm can be really beneficial for those with dry skin. And here it is. I mean, this is such an amazing balm. In general, I prefer milk cleansers over balms, but I was really keen on trying this because this has been reformulated and this is one of the products that was never vegan because this did contain some beeswax in the past. It also contains some lavender water and some synthetic fragrance so they got rid of all of them. I feel like it's really really hard to find a good cleansing balm without fragrance like without any irritating essential oils but this is just so so stunning and I'm so so happy that they have reformulated this product. So some of the key ingredients that they are actually using in this product is definitely their rice bran oil. They're also using rice seed water, oatmeal extract and rice extract. So it comes in this jar. I feel like cleansing balms are really travel friendly because they're not liquid so it makes it easy to travel with them. This actually does come with a little spatula um, to scoop out the product. Now the texture of this is just absolutely amazing. This is such a nice cleansing balm. I feel like this balm feels like so luxurious. Like the texture of this is so creamy, 
so buttery, not overly oily. It's just an amazing, amazing formulation. So I like to use this product basically on a full face of makeup and then I just rub it into my skin. And if you emulsify this with water, you're gonna get such a beautiful milky lather. It also really did a good job in removing my eye makeup. Now, usually I do prefer a milk cleanser to do that with just because of the nature of a balm. But you know, this one did a great job and actually getting rid of all of my makeup. It's one of the most efficient cleansing balms I've ever tried personally, and I really do enjoy how this cleanses my skin. Now, I'm a double cleansing girl, so I always go in with a second cleanser after this, but in case you don't wear any makeup, and in case you also have drier skin, or maybe you just don't like any gel cleansers, I mean, this is just so amazing in getting rid of all of the grime, all of the dirt, all of your SPF residue. And it's just to me an amazing cleansing balm, an amazing formulation. And I would definitely recommend this product. So let's actually move on to their next cleanser, which is a gel cleanser. And that is one of my favorite types of uh, cleansers apart from milk cleansers. So this is the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser and this retails for $13. So first off, this is vegan, it's essential oil free and it's also fragrance free. So this is actually a low pH cleanser, so it's slightly acidic. And this is going to be also a little bit more of an exfoliating cleanser if you enjoy that. Like you can definitely use this cleanser in your morning routine or in your evening routine. And you can also use it daily, you know, it's such a gentle exfoliation. I mean, it's just making sure that the dead skin cells are really just kind of removed instead of irritating your skin. And I really want to stress that out because I'm not doing well with high percentages of acids. And I mean, this has some amazing plant enzymes that are actually going to do the exfoliation. So let's talk a little bit about the ingredients in here. So what I also love about K-Beauty is the fact that a lot of the times they're actually indicating the percentage of the base products or of their hero kind of ingredient in the formulation. So this one has 24.5% of green plum fruit water and actually 2.94% of mung bean seed extract. So both of these ingredients actually do help to gently lift away impurities and skin waste while leaving skin feeling moist. So a couple more interesting ingredients in this product are actually the Hotunia cordata extract, which is hot leaf. That is also a really good KBD ingredient in case you're acne prone, you have more sensitive skin. They have also included some lotus flower extract in here. They also have rice extract, blueberry fruit extract, and green tea leaf extract, which I love. Super soothing, really healing for the skin. So in general, this is an amazing cleanser formulation. I mean, this really reminded me of like a watery kind of jelly texture. This is so lightweight, it's so bouncy, it's so runny, and I really, really like the texture of this product. It's not over the top foamy. I feel like it has a light foam once you emulsify it with water. I definitely have a couple of other cleansers that are way foamier than this one. It's just doing such a great, great job. It's non-irritating. It cleanses my skin so, so well. I would just say be careful to really make sure that the cleanser is off your skin later. The only con to this product is that it only comes in 100 milliliters. Some of my cleansers have 180 milliliters. Some of them have 200 milliliters. This only comes in this smaller sort of packaging with 100 milliliters. So that's the only con. Okay, so let's move on to the next product. Let's go to a different category and let's talk about the toners slash essences. So this is the Ginseng Essence Water and this retails for $18. Just look at this. This is an entire empty bottle. I emptied the entire thing. So I love this product so, so much. I actually had this on backup and I repurchased it again. And I actually have incorporated this again in my routine. And oh my gosh, this is something I honestly truly missed using for a while because I was actually using a couple of other products just to, you know, try out some more K-Beauty. But this is one of the best freaking toner slash essences that I've ever tried. It really feels like a toner, but with the benefits of an essence. This is also a vegan product. It's completely essential oil free and has no fragrance to it whatsoever. So some of the key ingredients in this formula definitely 
company, the 80% of ginseng root water. There are not a lot of like K-beauty products that actually do have ginseng as their main ingredient and for that price tag too. But ginseng is such a great antioxidant, you guys. So ginseng is known as a very good well-aging. I don't like to say anti-aging. I always prefer the term well-aging, well-aging ingredient. It's really good for lackluster skin, for dull skin. If you want to just plump up the elasticity in your skin, like if you've damaged your skin, ginseng is one of these superhero ingredients that can really just revitalize your skin. We also have 2% of niacinamide. Another really amazing ingredient that I love for my skin because my skin is a little bit more on the oilier side and niacinamide at 2% is really gonna just activate that collagen production within your skin but it's also really good in just balancing your oil production. It's an amazing ingredient and the 2% of niacinamide combined with this ginseng root water really is going to stimulate the collagen production in your skin as well. So continuing with some of these amazing ingredients. So there's also allantoin in here, panthenol, vitamin B5 can be very beneficial for your skin barrier. And we also have the Panas ginseng root extract. We also have Panax ginseng berry extract, and we have some ginseng root ferment filtrate. So they also included a little bit of fermented ginseng. Now, if you ferment any kind of skincare ingredient, you're just gonna amp up the potency of an ingredient. The texture here, it is lightweight, but not like super runny. It does have a little bit of a body. It's not gonna leave your face like oily or greasy or super moisturized. This is very much a hydrating product. You can definitely feel that your skin has been given like a super food drink. It's like an energy drink for your skin. The way I use this is just straight after I cleanse my face. I like to just pour it straight into my hand and then just press it into my skin. I really don't like to use toners or essences on cotton pads. I feel like you're just wasting half of your product on a cotton pad because it's just gonna soak it up. You can also layer this in case you like to layer toners. I really find the layering method very beneficial to my skin. I mean, just doing a couple of layers of this product is just so, so nice. This will work if you wanna combine it with some other toners. If you want something that deeply hydrates your skin, that gives it some benefit. Also the 2% of niacinamide is actually going to contribute to a little bit of a glow. Like I feel like once I use this product, my skin is really glowy. It looks super healthy. I also feel like if you've never tried a toner, if you've never tried an essence, this is also a really good product for beginners. So let's move on to the very exciting category. And I feel like these products are definitely my some of my favorite products from the line, like honestly, because I feel like the formulas on these are just top notch. And I'm talking about their serums. They are very, very special. And we got four different serums in total. And all of them are really aimed at a different kind of skin condition. And they're just really, really lovely. So let's start off with the very first one. So this is the Calming Serum Green Tea and Panthenol and this retails for $17. I'm not able to find this on their official website anymore. I'm not sure what is happening. They still have this discovery kit where you can actually purchase all of the four serums that they've released together, and it's still included in that. This used to be my favorite serum like a year ago in summer. I use this every, every morning, and yeah, there is an empty bottle right here. Yeah, right now I'm actually on my second bottle. So this bottle has 30 milliliters of product. So 1.01 fluid ounces of product. Um, this is not vegan because this does contain some propolis extract and propolis is actually another amazing ingredient that we're gonna be focusing on in another serum, but it's actually derived from bees, but it's still vegetarian. So this product is really good for any type of skin type. I feel like somebody with dry skin could benefit from that. Uh, someone with combo skin, someone with oily skin, oily skin would love this because the texture is quite lightweight and a little bit runnier than the rest of the serums, but still a little bit syrupy. And oh yeah, I just want to mention this green color and all of the colors of the serum, those are not artificial colors. They are actually naturally derived colors. So let's talk a little bit about these 
amazing hero ingredients in the product. And this product actually contains my personal holy trinity of K-Beauty ingredients, which is the green tea, the mugwort and Santala. So this is actually enriched with 76% of green tea leaf water. It's not extract. The green tea extract is a little bit stronger than the leaf water, but if you've never tried out green tea, I would say just try this because it's still doing a fantastic job, although it's not the extract. Another favorite product of mine is the Artemisia vulgaris extract, so mugwort extract fantastic ingredient if you suffer from acne, if you need something antibacterial, antimicrobial, it's such an amazing ingredient to have in this formula. And then there's also Centella Asiatica extract in here and 2% of panthenol. And panthenol is a vitamin B5. It's really, really good to hydrate your skin, but also it kind of repairs your skin barrier. And it's a fantastic ingredient. I really love panthenol. I love Santala. I love Artemisia and I love green tea. So this is kind of like a really perfect formulated serum. So the texture of this is a little bit more lightweight. It sinks into the skin immediately. It's so nice. It's not going to leave a tag. It's not going to leave you oily. Quite the opposite. This is also the one serum out of their collection that has the least amount of body, the least amount of moisture to it. But I feel like if you want to calm your skin, that's actually really perfect. It really hydrates your skin. There's a lot of hydration in this product. It's so calming so soothing, so healing, and that's exactly what I need. And I feel for my skin type, this is quite perfect. So because of the texture, I like to apply this in the morning, completely fragrance-free, no essential oils, no oils whatsoever, just really good Korean herbal sort of extracts. And I love this. So let's move on to the next serum. And this serum was gifted to me in PR by Stalvana. So this is the Glow Deep Serum Rice and Alpha Arbutin and this retails for $17. So same packaging for this product. Now this is a little bit newer in my collection because this was sent to me a couple of weeks ago. So I really enjoy this but I feel like I have to change this in my routine slightly because I use this in the morning and this is a Glow Deep Serum. So it's going to make your skin super, super glowy. And for some reason, I prefer that at night because in the morning, I felt like I was glowing way too much. And you guys know me, I don't really like to glow over the top. If you have dry skin, I feel you're gonna love this. Really, really like hydrating, moisturizing without like leaving a greasy film on your face, but it's so glowy. I'm really really happy that Stylvana sent this to me but in general I feel like this might be better for like drier skin. So because the main ingredients in this formula is rice bran water and the alpha arbutin this is also targeted at people who want to treat hyperpigmentation. Now I don't have too much hyperpigmentation maybe just a little bit from my post acne but I don't have too much hyperpigmentation in general. So I can't really comment yet on how well this actually treats hyperpigmentation. I had previously used some products with rice ingredients, but none of them made me as glowy as this one. So I do assume if you do like a good glowy finish, this might be completely up your alley. And rice in general, it's an amazing, amazing ingredient because it has a lot of amino acids and a lot of minerals. So rice can be super, super healing, not just brightening, but it can also be deeply healing for your skin. So some other amazing ingredients in this product, definitely the niacinamide. We have panthenol. We also have soybean extract. We have barley extract. And then we also have rice extract. So there's not just rice bran water in here, but there's also rice extract in here. A little bit further down the list, but still they included rice extract as well. So also sesame seed extract, wheat seed extract, and corn kernel extract. So this product is also vegan, it's essential oil free, and it's completely fragrance free. So the texture of this, because of the rice bran 
water. It is a little bit more runny in texture. You know, it's not like a thick gel, but man, once this goes onto the skin, this really does show how much body this has. It has a lot of body. I mean, it's not going to leave you with a greasy or oily finish. You know, it's going to sink in. It's not tacky whatsoever. And yeah, it's going to be absorbed by your skin quite immediately, but the glowing effect of this is undeniable. It just looks absolutely over the top, radiant, luminous. So if you like that and if you have very, very dry skin, I can only imagine that you are going to love this product. So let's actually move on to the next serum. And this one was also gifted to me by Stalvana in PR. So this is the Glow Serum Propolis and Niacinamide. And this retails for about $17. So really fun story. When I received this in PR, I was already using this product because I also purchased this with my own money prior. I'm so happy I've got a backup now of this. This is my nighttime serum at the moment that I'm using and I feel like I'm halfway through. So again, this comes in the same packaging than the other two serums, 30 milliliters, so 1.01 fluid ounces. This product, however, is not vegan because it does contain the propolis. However, it is essential oil-free, not completely oil-free, they actually have put in one oil in here. All of the other formulas of the serums are completely oil free. Now this does contain one oil, but it's also completely fragrance free. So let's have a look at these ingredients. So 60% propolis extract. Propolis is just one of these ingredients that is really beneficial if you have inflamed skin, if you have acne prone skin. 2% of niacinamide. Again, we are finding this amazing ingredient niacinamide at 2%, which is not too high and also not too low. This is really going to stimulate collagen production, but it's also gonna help to regulate your sebum production. So another interesting ingredient in here is, while well, they are calling it BHA at 0.5%, it's not like salicylic acid. It's a much gentler form of salicylic acid, betaine ene salicylate. The ingredient is actually derived from beets and BHA usually is derived from willow bark. So it makes it really suitable for sensitive skin as well. So apart from propolis and niacinamide and the beta in salicylate, this actually contains a number of other really amazing ingredients. So for example, this does contain some neem extract, some turmeric root extract. This also contains some Tulsi or holy basil extract. It does contain cocoa seed extract, tea tree extract, red algae extract, Santala Asiatica extract. I mean, I love Santala, Sika, Tiger Grass, Go to Cola, whatever you want to call it. And the only oil that they actually put into this formula is Tamanu seed oil. Now, the Tamanu seed oil is very far down the list. I almost could not tell that there was any oil in here. And the texture on this. Oh man, it's like really rich. It's more like a jelly type of serum, I've got to say. It is a little bit thicker than the other two serums that I just talked about. The propolis is going to give you that texture. It really does give this texture a lot more body to it. It is really, really lovely. It does give me quite a good amount of glow. Another reason why I'm using this at night is because of the betaine salicylate in this formula. Overnight, my skin is really just regenerating itself. And that's when this product is actually working the best. Now, it really does not matter if you have dry skin or oily skin or something in between or normal skin. It's really just gonna depend on if you like a glowy finish. Now, if you have oilier skin, maybe you wanna use this more in your nighttime skincare routine than in your morning routine. But this is suitable, I would say, for any type of skin. Also for those who have like irritated, inflamed skin, this is really, really good, especially also if you are suffering with acne problems. Okay, so let's actually move on to the last serum in their collection. So this is the Revive Serum Ginseng and snail mucin and this retails for $17. So this also comes in the same packaging, 30 milliliters, so 1.01 fluid ounces of product. Now this is not vegan because this does contain some snail mucin, however, it makes it vegetarian. So in this formula, we have 63.36% of ginseng root water and we have 3% of snail mucin. So some other really good ingredients in this formula. Definitely, we also have niacinamide in here, 
we have Centella Asiatica again, we have mushroom extract, which I personally, I'm a huge fan of that ingredient as well. We actually have two types of different mushroom extracts. We have some sodium hyaluronate and some hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid in this formula as well. So this serum, I would really recommend to those who are looking for more of a repairing type of serum. Like if you have dull skin, lackluster skin, or if you're suffering from a loss of elasticity, this might be a really good product to add to your routine because it really can heal and help and repair your skin. So you can see this is an empty bottle. I love this serum. This serum is so, so good, man. The texture, the performance, the ingredients. I mean, I'm all for this serum. So mine is completely gone. I used this in my nighttime routine because I just thought, you know, to really revitalize my skin, it would be good to leave it on overnight because my skin then regenerates itself. And this was so amazing. This did not only just hydrate my skin, it really helped with like inflammation issues. The texture of this is what I really enjoy about this product. This has more of like, I would say a syrupy serum texture. Like it has a little bit of a bounce and I think that's because of the snail mucin. Now it's not slimy or anything like that, but it has this nice bounce and it really feels like a syrup almost. Now if you have oilier skin, I would suggest using this at night because this does give your skin quite a glow as well. Although it's not like marketed as a glowy product or anything, I feel like the texture is so rich and nourishing. I really enjoy this product, otherwise I would have not emptied an entire bottle of this. I'm also on my second bottle here and when I used this again, I was just like, man, I love this serum so much. This might just be maybe my favorite one out of all of them because it is just so damn nourishing. Like it has all of these benefits and my skin being a little bit more on the dehydrated, dull side sometimes really benefits from this. I really, really, truly enjoy this serum. Also, according to what you actually need in your skincare routine, I feel like these would make a very great addition to your routine and yeah, no bias remorse whatsoever. These are fantastic products. All right, so we are done with the serum. So let's actually move on to their newer release, which is their eye serum. So this is the Revive Eye Serum Ginseng and Retinol, and this retails for $17. This was a newer release and I was really, really intrigued by this because I am always on the hunt for a good eye cream. I have tried out so many eye creams that are just not worth your coin, but this man, Beauty of Chosen really like just hit the jackpot with this because it's really fantastic. And I'm blown away by this product because usually eye creams do come in like really small sizes, like 15 milliliters if you're lucky. And they also contain pretty much the same damn ingredients than a moisturizer. So this is a very different product though. So this actually comes in this beautiful squeeze tube packaging and it has 30 milliliters of product. So the double of a normal standard eye cream. Also, this does contain 10% uh, of ginseng root extract. So not the water, but the root extract and the retinal liposome at 2%. Retinal with an A, this is not retinol. So the standard retinol with an O, that vitamin A that is marketed as like an anti-wrinkle kind of magic worker actually has to do two different steps to convert into retinoic acid within your skin, whereas retinol only has to do one step to convert into retinoic acid. So it's actually going to work a lot quicker than normal retinol. Now this is encapsulated retinol, which means it's going to be released over time, not all at once, and it's formulated at 2%. This product is completely vegan, it's essential oil free, and fragrance free as well. I feel like there's only one oil that they included into the formula. So yeah, they only included one oil, which is macadamia seed oil, which is fine by me. But yeah, these ingredients are really lovely. This also contains some ceramide and pea, but I feel like the ginseng and the retinol combined Man, they are doing some wonders for my under eye. And I also want to mention that this does not pill. You can use this in the day and at night. This really wears beautiful 
under my makeup as well. Honestly, I was not really expecting this texture. It is more like a balmy gel type of cream. It is really, really interesting. It's not heavy, you know, but it's also not too lightweight that it would not work. And it's just beautiful. My under eye area feels immediately smoothened out. It feels very well nourished. It feels really hydrated. And it's not like one of these thick eye creams that is gonna give you Melia. I feel like this does a really good job in just like sinking in, but really from within hydrating your under eye area, plumping it up. I've been looking so, so long for a good eye cream and this definitely takes a top spot. So let's move on from that beautiful eye serum to a moisturizer. So this is the Dynasty Cream and this retails for $24. This has been in existence for quite a while, but it has been reformulated over the past years. And yeah, this is the reformulated version now. This has a lot of different ingredients, but you know, the key, the base ingredients of this product are still the same. Namely, I feel like this really incorporates the two favorite ingredients by this brand, basically ginseng and rice. I never used to have the product before it was reformulated, but I can just tell you what they have changed. They have changed quite a lot in this formula, although the core ingredient is still the same, but they actually removed the dimethicone, they removed the fragrance, they removed the alcohol, they removed the shea butter, they removed the olive fruit oil and the sunflower seed oil and a bunch of other kind of ingredients. This one right now is essential oil free. It is not vegan, however, because it does contain some honey extract. So you're gonna get 50 milliliters of product, which is 1.69 fluid ounces. So in terms of ingredients, because they have reformulated this, they left out the sunflower seed oil and the olive fruit oil. So they have swapped out these two oils with actually some ingredients that I'm not too happy about. So they swapped them out with safflower seed oil and with hydrogenated coconut oil. You guys, does this contain coconut oil? Oh, it's a little bit of a shame because that makes this product just a little bit comedogenic. And I've got to say, I think it's the reason why I can't use this every day and why this product is just halfway gone. I love the texture of this. I love what this does to my skin but I just cannot for the life of me use this every day. I used to actually use this a lot in winter. My skin gets a little bit drier in winter and I feel like this is amazing if you have dehydrated skin and also really dry skin. In case you are not acne prone, don't you worry, right? Maybe the coconut oil is not gonna do anything to you, but I am super acne prone. So every time I use this, and if I use this in a row, I end up with some clogged pores. And I gotta be honest with you guys, although I love the texture and I've used this halfway through, I can use this from time to time. And that's actually how I'm incorporating this in my skincare routine. But for the life of me, I cannot use this every single day. It's really a funny texture because it has a little bit of this bounce to it. It has a little bit of this stringy property when you dip in your spoon, like this has some bounce. It really does remind me a little bit of melted cheese, <laughs> like the string effect of this but it's so beautiful. I almost thought in the beginning this had some snail mucin in here, but it does not contain any snail mucin. But the texture, it is beautiful. It feels like a luxurious cream that you would pay like a fortune for here in the West. Because I'm a little bit more on the oilier side, I actually don't like to use this product in my daytime routine. I always use this in my nighttime routine. This makes my skin so soft. And when I use this at night as a nighttime moisturizer, I wake up with like the best hydrated, moisturized skin ever. I mean, my skin feels really, really lovely. I just run into trouble if I use this on a daily. So it just over moisturizes my skin and that's never good for my skin type. But in case you are not acne prone, in case you have really dull, dry skin, try this out. It won't disappoint you. It's gonna leave your skin feeling so soft, so hydrated, just like a cushion. It is 
honestly, it is a fantastic product. I just wish they would not have included that hydrogenated coconut oil because I think that is the reason why it gives me a little bit of clogged pores if I use this over a longer time. I'm halfway through this product already and I use it really when my skin is super, super dry, especially in the winter, but I just can't use it every day. And I really just use it when my skin is just yelling, give me some extra moisture. So let's actually move on from that moisturizer to their overly hyped new sunscreen release. So this is their Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 plus and this retails for $18. So really good price point for a sunscreen. It's also vegan, essential oil free and completely fragrance free. So I picked it up knowing that it is a chemical sunscreen and I had so much hope and so much faith in this product because I saw some amazing reviews on this and I was just hoping a chemical sunscreen would for once work for me because this does use like some newer generation filters in here. I am so sensitive I cannot use chemical sunscreens. I was never able to use chemical sunscreens. I always have to rely on a mineral slash physical sunscreen this is no exception. I mean, I could use it, but just the experience of this is just not nice on my skin. I was just like, yeah, let's just put that chemical sunscreen straight onto my skin without patch testing it. Don't do that. Always patch test your skincare products, you know, learn from my mistakes, just do it. But yeah, the minute I put this onto my skin, it burned. It did not burn too much and the burning sensation did go away after like five minutes. After that, it was fine. But I was just like, wow, I don't think I want to use a chemical sunscreen ever again. All of them burn me. This one did not burn me that much and it also did not last a long time. But I just could not apply another layer of this product. But I've got to say, the formulation on this is stunning. It feels like such a beautiful, lightweight cream, like super lightweight really just a stunning kind of like texture in general. I would love to use this. If they would make this into a mineral sunscreen, I would be thrilled, but yeah, it's a chemical sunscreen. I'm not sure what to tell you. I did not have a good experience with this product, but if you are fine with chemical sunscreens and they don't irritate your skin, I think you would love this. I just, for the life of me, cannot use a chemical sunscreen. So this is a little bit of a fail and I'm gonna pass this on to a friend. So I have one more product to review for you guys and that is actually their sheet mask. So this is the Santala Asiatica Calming Mask and 10 sheets do retail for $25. I am not the biggest fan of a sheet mask. Like, I don't have many sheet masks. I just prefer wash-off masks that come in a jar. But for some reason, I was really intrigued because this is Santala Asiatica. And Santala Asiatica is such an amazing, soothing, calming ingredient and it worked wonders on my skin. So this actually does contain 15% of Santala Asiatica extract, some hyaluronic acid. It also contains niacinamide. We also have sunflower seed oil and we also have Artemisia Princeps leaf extract. And we also have some green tea leaf extract. So don't actually wash this mask off after you are using it. Actually press it into your skin because they are actually used as a replacement for a serum. I really tried hard to squeeze out everything from that sachet and really disperse it onto my skin. My skin literally soaked this mask up. Now, I am not really good with applying these sheet masks in general, but man, this had some amazing effect on my skin because it really did like, you know, calm my skin down and it plumped up my skin so much with hydration. My skin felt like calmed immediately, suited and very much hydrated. This one was one of these sheet masks that I really wanted to try out and I'm so glad I have this. I'm gonna continuously use this until this is empty because I feel like this does so much goodness for your skin. It really plumped my skin up. This is really good if your skin is feeling irritated, if it's inflamed, it's just a really nice splash of hydration and I honestly would recommend this product as well. So those were all of the products that I've tried by Beauty of Chosen. So do let me know if you are going to pick up something from Stylvana, if something has triggered your interest or in case you've already tried some of the products by Beauty of Chosen, 
what was your experience? I would be really, really curious to know. So just drop me a comment below. That would be always very much appreciated. And also, if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, why not give it a big thumbs up? And in case you made it that far and you just have not yet subscribed to my channel, why not hit that subscribe button? You can also ring the bell in order to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And yeah, I shall be delivering a lot more skincare reviews very, very soon, but also makeup reviews. So just stay tuned on here. And until next time, please do take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.